Uh, now we try to demonstrate how to set up a sand post. Uh, for sand post, I have been talking uh, very much about sand post. And uh, there are uh, quite a few videos about sand post. Uh, sand post, how important is the sand post? It's vitally important. Uh, for example, if you it's like a, a, a person, how you stand, okay? If you stand firmly in a good position, you can do anything you want. Uh, for example, the violin is here, I stand here, I can reach the violin. But the violin is there, I stand here, I cannot reach the violin, okay? Same as the sound post, if the sound post is in a correct position, good position, it gives good sound. If it's not in the a good position, it does not give the good sound. Um, the sound post is so sensitive. You touch it, slightly the sound changes. Okay? So you have to treat the sound post very nicely, very nicely. Uh, same as important as your uh, uh, child, I should say. Okay? Now, I, I, I first I demonstrate, before you do sound post, you always have to lose your strings. Okay, always lose your strings. Now I lose the strings. Always put everything at one place, don't, don't lose it, okay? If you lose a bridge, you lose something, it's very difficult to get one. Uh. <coughs> Remember, always put something under the tailpiece, because we don't want the tailpiece scratch the top and damage the top. Okay? Uh, especially the, 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 the adjuster. The adjuster is very easy, it's a metal thing, it's very easy to damage the surface of the violin. So always remember, put something under. Okay, now I take the tail block out, okay? Now, pull it, okay, we try to get it out. Hmm? <laughs> okay. Just me let me get the sun post out first, okay? Oh. Now you get the sun post out like this, yeah? Okay. So what's your question? Okay. Uh, how are we supposed to determine whether we need a thick one or a thin one? I'll say one, a big thick one. Or, okay. Or a thin one. Uh, first of all, it should not be too thick, otherwise you cannot put it in. Okay? Mm -hmm. First of all, it uh, must be smaller than six millimeters dimension, all right? So if it's uh, bigger than that, you have trouble to get in, okay? So uh, it's not supposed to be too small. So six, six millimeter is the, is the uh, uh, standard. Or if you, if you buy the commercial uh, sound post, uh, it is already made six. So it's already made like this. Okay, it's not a problem. Okay. So you do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one is not correct shape. Okay, can you make it into a correct shape? Okay, your correct shape is like this. No, no it's more like this. More like this. Mm -hmm. And this has to be also, I need a tool, I, I can't do it in my, by my hand. So, like this. And be very, very careful, like I, I, can, I can already see, here you have, you have a damage here. I can already see, see, this is damaged by uh, when you do the sound post. So if hole is the art of the violin maker, the same like a, uh, frog uh, for a bow maker. This is very important to show the good work of the, of the F hole. F hole is, is like a, it's like eyes to a person. 
uh, beautiful or you know something. You have to show the beauty of the F hole. You're not supposed to damage the F hole. Okay, so have to be very very careful when you set up center post. Don't damage the uh, the. Okay, now 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 come. So just now you mentioned that the F hole damage does it affect the sound or? No no no. It's 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 it's, it's the uh, the beauty of art. You see, they, you, you respect the art of violin making. Nothing to do with sound. <laughs> okay? You can make it look very nice. The same like a person. You can be very ugly, but you can be a very good person. But the face is important, eh? <laughs> Especially a lady, yeah? Okay. First, we, we do like this. And we always be careful. This metal part, this is a metal part, should not touch the F hole. Should not touch it at all, okay? So you put it in very softly. Okay, very softly first. Okay, you put it in. Mm -hmm. You turn like this. And you always use your, your finger against the here. If you don't put a finger here, the metal will touch mm -hmm. that part. Okay, when you work. You always have to protect this part. Okay, always protect. So when I work, I look at like this. Mm -hmm. Look. My finger is always here. My finger is here to protect the F hole, okay? Then I do, I pull out like this, so the F hole will not be damaged. This was before I showed to you, okay? I didn't do this. Someone did it, okay? This. Of course, we can fix it. We can, we can make it invisible. But uh, for, for violin, it is, it is uh, uh, the F hole. The other part is not important, not a not, 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 not problem, because this part is not a part that show the art of the violin maker. Yes. But this is the F hole, because when we make the F hole, we use knife. We use a knife to cut it. You need a very sharp knife and a very skillful hand to control it. It's not a sandpaper, it's not a fire, it's not a t -t -t no. It's, it's knife. This is why this is a place to show off how good we are. And for the factories, there are professional only make the FHO. This work is make FHO every day. So make it very pretty. Okay? Now we, we go from this side, we see from here if the, the sound post is straight or not. Then we'll make uh, adjustment. This is why I want to take this off. Okay, this is a place. We need, same, same. When you go from here, you can't touch this part. You cannot touch this part, okay? You can touch the inner part. You're not supposed to touch this part, okay? I say it again. You can touch this part inside, but not this edge. So you put this in. You can touch this part, but not here. What to do, you also use a finger Okay, you always <coughs> use a finger to protect the the sun. See, always use the sun post set the work like this, mm. not on this side. Okay, so you pull them out because the inner part people can't see, mm. but this part is most important. This part, okay. Now, I take a look again. Mm -hmm. Still not straight yet. I have to make more adjustment. Samples is incorrect uh, in no positions. Uh, I, I will teach you, okay? I will tell you what is the correct position. Okay. Now, everybody, please. Okay. Uh, the sand post, first of all, what is the position of a sand post? Where should a sand post be? 
Okay, uh, the bridge, the bridge is here. Okay, bridge is here, all right? We have a bridge. So the sound post should be um, half a bridge, uh, half a bridge to one, br uh, half a bridge or to one bridge behind this. It means it should be somewhere here. Okay, this is a bridge and it should be somewhere here. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Yeah. Can you see from the camera? Look at this. Okay. Okay. So it should be it should be somewhere here. This is a position for the sound post. Okay. Uh, if you if the sound post go into here, it's more balanced the sound. Balance is better, but you don't get a very sharp E. You don't get very deep G. But if you want to get a very sharp E and deep G, you go on this side. Go this side a little bit. Mm. Then you get the sound is more empty. Understand? The sound will be have more air, not not focused sound. The more on this side side, the sound is more solid. But uh, but you have uh, less bass and less uh, tenor. But if you go on this side. The E string will sharp, feel sharp, and the G string will feel dark, but the sound will be more empty. So it's, it's, it's your taste and your art to, to decide which part you want to put. This is one. And also here, if closer to the bridge, uh, the more, more straight sound it will be. The sound will be go directly uh, like this, okay? But if you go further away, the sound will be more softer. The softer sound. For me, my taste, as my personal taste, most people put uh, put um, half a bridge, like, just like this, eh? here. I like to put a little bit further, because then I feel, I feel as I, my, my personal experience, I can do much more expression. I can do much more singing thing. If I go back a little bit like this. If it's same like the bow, like the bow, it's a very easy to play. This bow I, I played before, very easy to play, very easy, very easy to control, but does not give you things you want. Okay? So, I, I like it to play it a little bit further away, so it has, has a not a direct punch, like a punch going like this, huh? punch going like this. A little more a cushion, like a, 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 you feel like sound has a kind of a cushion. Okay? So uh, you can move this, 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 this. Okay, the two directions you can move. Another thing is you don't have to remember. You don't have to remember now, but uh, I just uh, mentioned it. For my, for my sound post setting, many people just put it straight, absolutely straight. Uh, but the thing is that the violin is not straight. You see, the violin is always curved. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, there, there, is a, there is a tendency because the, the bridge, everything is going this way, this way, right? So for me, it's that I like to pull the sound post a little bit backward, a little bit like this. Understand? A little bit like this, instead of this. Because I feel this way, uh, the, 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 the power going forward, is they, they, they can take more this way. And also, for this, I also not straight. I also make it a slightly like this. So you don't have to remember now because this is very subtle. You have to do a lot, a lot of uh, experiment before you understand this. But I just tell you, not the straight is correct. There is nothing called cor correct. It's, you, you can say standard. Okay, something standard. Uh, normally we do this way. Okay? Uh, now, we say, okay, how, how do I know it is straight? That's a very good question. Even a most experienced violin maker, they cannot decide if it's straight or not without watching from here. You, you have to watch from, from here. Even if it's the most, for me, I always do some secret. When I set, set up a sound post, I make um, something very sharp, just a pencil or anything, I make a mark there. I make a, a small mark. People cannot see, I can see. Just a small mark. So every time when the sound post dropped, I know that's a place. So I put it down there, it's almost, almost there. It's, 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 not, it's not, you know, going further, further away. But even without that mark, it's difficult. Now, 
I want you, everyone, to take a look from here to see the correct position of a sound host. Please. Okay, so now we see this is the base bar. The base bar is here. So this side is base bar, this, bar, this side is sound host. Understand? Mm -hmm. So you cannot send a sound post on this side. But this side is a base bar, is supporting base sound. Mm. You, have, you have a bar here, see? But which means the this violin that they want, the, the base bar is the, in the other side? Yeah, then this left, left hand violin, you have to play this way. Mm. Okay, if you put a base bar on this side, and then E strings on this side, so you play this way. Then you can put a sound post on this side. Which means before we have to learn the violin, we need to decide which hand we have to use, right? Of course, we, we use this hand. hand. <laughs> 90, 90, 90, 90, 99 percent of the human being will play. I'll get Charlie Charlie Chaplin play this way. Charlie Chaplin. Mm -hmm. Charlie Chaplin. Mm -hmm. Charlie Chaplin. Mm -hmm. He plays the, the left hand. And uh, there is a very good violin maker, a violin, violin teacher in Norway, plays this way. So I made two violins <laughs> for left-handed. I still have one left-handed violin. Then they have to change everything. Everything on this side, yes, everything. So it's, it's very difficult for me to test the sound. You know, I have to have to put it this way to <laughs> test the sound. Chimbus, everything you have to do the, the other way. Okay. Okay. Oh, sound post. Uh, yeah, it, it is difficult job. It's difficult. But uh, but for for you, for for violin teachers, the most intu most interesting thing is the sound post. You can play with the sound post for hours and hours and hours, because you just touch the sound. Oh, change so change out, and you forgot the sound before. Oh, that's my sound. And you want to try to get it back? You never get it back. Everyone have seen this? Everyone? Okay. Okay. Now. Okay. Now we put it back. Because some of the students violin, you know, their samples always out of position, and so yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of the, most of this. Okay, you you can put it back. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>